Hi, class. How are you? Good evening, Miss. Hi, can you hear me? Hi, good evening. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, good. How are you? How was your weekend? Good. Good, excellent. And how was how was your so how was your weekend, Amy? Um fine. I which movies. <laughs> Good, excellent. And Janet, how was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was a little busy, but it's well. Okay. Oh my. But but you um. But it was good. You liked your weekend, or it's not very good. Very good. It was okay. Okay, good. What about Jenny? How was your weekend? Uh, I work in my house, uh, in my my project. What project? Uh, my emprendimiento. No sé cómo se dice en inglés, emprendimiento. Are you talking about um, like work? Like you, you're an entrepreneur. You, you, you have a business. Yes. You have a company. Yes, but uh, is project personal, personal project. Ah, okay, okay, all right, good, interesting. Okay, so this is a personal project. Okay, nice. Okay, so you had a good weekend. Excuse me. Did you have a good weekend? Do you have a good weekend? A good weekend. Did you have a good weekend? No, let's the other weekend. Weekend. Weekend is Saturday and Sunday. Oh. Today is weekend. Uh, Did you have a good weekend? In my house. Um, work. Work. <laughs> Okay, okay, but your weekend was good? Good weekend? Yes. Okay, good, excellent, very good. Okay, and uh, Michelle, how was your weekend? Excellent, very good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, good, good. And Victor, how was your weekend? Ah, no lo entiendo. How was the weekend? Saturday and Sunday. How were the two days? Good, bad? No, no lo entiendo. Okay, Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. Do you know Saturday and Sunday? <laughs> Victor, do you know Saturday? Because do you know the word Saturday? Sunday? No. Saturday is, is, is sábado. Uh -huh. Eso sí lo entiendo, Sunday pero... is domingo. Uh -huh. Okay? Eso so sí lo entiendo, how pero no. Saturday and Sunday? Okay, it's el sábado y domingo. Yes, how was the weekend? Weekend is... Saturday and Sunday, the two days, weekend, weekend, okay? I'm going to write it on the board. The weekend, because I know, I noticed that some people don't know what the weekend is. So let me write down, this is vocabulary, okay, and So days of the week, like for example, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday. Okay. And then over here, we can have Saturday, Sunday. Okay. And that stays. So these are days of the week. Now, these. Give me a second. So these, these over here, we call them, we call them weekdays. These are weekdays. Yeah, the weekdays. In Spanish, how do you say weekdays? Dias de la semana, exactly. Uh huh. Or, or uh huh. And then Entre here. Semana. And then um, over here. Let's see. Hold on. Give me a moment. Over here we have these two: Saturday and Sunday. Let me erase that. Not good. Okay. Okay. These two days, we call them weekends. Weekends. Okay, weekend. Okay, so this is weekdays. You work on the weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we rest. We can do anything, we are free. That's the weekend, okay? Do you understand? Is clear? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Sí. Okay, so Victor, how was your weekend? How was your weekend, Victor? Did you have a good weekend or a bad weekend? So so. A so so weekend. Sí. Why? Why a so so weekend, Victor? Why? Why so so? Why so so? What's the reason? I have been seen. Oh, you were busy. See. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Good. That's okay, Victor. No problem. Okay. All right. And I also have. Uh, Salvador, welcome, Salvador. Hi. Uh, your microphone. The microphone. Open, open the microphone. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, welcome. How was your Thank weekend, you. Salvador? You're welcome. Excuse me. How was your weekend, Salvador? Um, Saturday. Take a break. The morning. And the after room, uh, visit my friend. And Domingo, the uh, Sunday, uh, visit my my parents. Oh, good! So you had a very good weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Okay. All right. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Well, welcome Vanessa, Sonia, and Josavet. Also, welcome to our class. Okay. Um, Thank you. Before, <laughs> good, good. Um, before we begin, uh, I want to, uh, before we start, actually, I'm going to say this in Spanish, okay? Uh, antes que empecemos, um, yo quiero saber más o menos uh, en qué, um, 
en qué parte de la, uh, de la plataforma van ustedes. Me interesa mucho saber eso porque eh, acuérdense de que este jueves es el último día que nosotros podemos um, eh, tener, eh, o sea, que tenemos límite para poder hacer los ejercicios en la plataforma. Jueves a la medianoche. Ya después, ya el viernes ya nos van a poder hacerlo. Y ustedes necesitan como mínimo tener eh, el 80%. Si ustedes no han completado la, eh, si ustedes no han completado el, el um, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, la plataforma con un 80% eh, como mínimo, o sea, más mejor, ¿verdad? si tienen más del de 80, perfecto. Pero si usted eh, no ha completado todavía el, la, la plataforma o no tiene mínimo 80%, aunque usted lo haya completado, pero si digamos usted tiene 75%, usted no va a poder inscribirse para el próximo nivel. Y lo que es más, eh, hay otra cosa que es muy importante y es el hecho de que uh, ustedes no van a poder tampoco... Um, eh, cómo se va a inscribirse para el próximo nivel. Entonces, eh, o sea, prácticamente pierden su, su, su oportunidad, su beca, digamos. Entonces, eso significa que es, pero muy, muy, muy importante que ustedes completen ahí la, la, la sección, cómo se llama toda la plataforma. Entonces, lo, lo que voy a hacer en este momento es que voy a pasarles un, um, una encuesta para saber eh, más o menos en qué sección van ustedes, tener una idea de cómo vamos en, um, en, 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 las, en, el, ¿cómo se llama? en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, va a ser anónimo, ¿verdad? Así que na um, nadie lo va a ver, ¿verdad? Su, su, uh, lo que usted pone. Um, solo de un momentito. Miss. ¿Sí? ¿Cuándo vamos para inscribirnos al siguiente? Por favor. Um, bueno, ok, les explico cómo, cómo, qué está pasando. Primeramente, um, no sé si yo les había, no creo que no les había explicado todavía, que um, para el próximo módulo, el próximo módulo va a empezar el próximo año. Este año, no sé, yo creo que ya les había mencionado esto, ¿verdad? Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Ok, sí, pero bueno, algunos no lo han escuchado, entonces les voy a explicar para aquellos que no lo han escuchado. Eh, el próximo módulo va a empezar el próximo año. Um, porque este año ya no hay tiempo para un nuevo módulo. Porque INSAPOR pide que se termine todos los módulos que finalicen el, antes del de 20 de diciembre. Entonces, y no se puede empezar un nuevo módulo y tener, por ejemplo, y empezarlo y, tener, y tenerlo a medias hasta, hasta el próximo año. No se puede tener eso. Entonces, vamos a tener que por, uh, por ley terminar eh, antes del de el 20. Ahora, eso no es problema porque nosotros vamos, se supone que vamos a terminar este, ¿qué, qué, qué sería? este 10, 10 de, de diciembre. Entonces, en realidad no tendríamos ningún problema con eso, ¿verdad? Um, ahora, para empezar el próximo año aún no hay fecha. Eh, de, uh, para empezar, o sea, eso um, el, nos estaría avisando en Sapor más adelante oh. para tener exactamente una fecha. Lo más probable es que sí va a ser, um, va a ser en, en enero, pero um, no tenemos una fecha exacta. ¿okay? Ahora, um, eh, la documentación, sin embargo, um, se va a ir recolectando se va a pedir y todo um, y durante ese, este año y todo y después dependiendo lo que pida INSAPOR. Um, pero eh, ahorita no, como digo, no tenemos fecha, pero sí sabemos que va a ser hasta el próximo año. Y si ustedes no han completado la plataforma eh, este año, antes de que termine el 10 de, de diciembre, ¿ok? Um, entonces, tampoco se van a poder inscribir. No sé si está bastante claro lo, esa información que les acabo de dar. 
Sí, sí quiero decir que este mes nos van a mandar un link para mandar todo. Todo para el siguiente año, poder comenzar el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Ah, fíjese que ah, vamos a hacer, sí, o sea, todavía no. Vamos a esperar a ver las indicaciones de Insapor. Uh, y se va, a ser, se va a estar mandando dependiendo a lo que diga Insapor. ¿Verdad? Ah, Entonces, vale. eh, todavía no. Por eso es que ustedes, bueno, en, en el nivel 1, quizás ustedes vieron de que se les mandó ahí la información rápido para que ustedes se entregaran y pudieran empezar el, el módulo 2. Pero en este año todavía no se han mandado nada, ¿verdad? ¿O hay alguien que lo ha recibido? No, no teacher. No, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, sí, entonces eso significa de hecho que um, no, o sea, todavía no, no, no lo requieren hasta este momento y creo que es porque todavía estamos esperando las directrices direct direct ahí de, de la de Interport, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero definitivamente lo que sí es seguro es de que ustedes necesitan completar eh, la plataforma para el día de diciembre. Tienen como máximo las 10 pero las, uh, pero las 12 de la, de la madrugada. Entonces, después de eso ya se cierra todo eh, el, la información, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta que quieren hacerme de antemano? ¿No? Ok. Entonces, yo ahorita les voy a mandar el, uh, voy a poner ahí al listo el, um, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama esto? La encuesta. Voy a poner la encuesta y solamente van a seleccionar uno de todos. Um, como digo, necesito que todos los participantes, ahorita tengo nueve participantes, que todos voten, ¿ok? Uh, ahorita los acabo de mandar. Así que si por favor pueden empezar a votar. Y por favor sean eh, también honestos, ¿verdad? No, 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 no piensen que tienen que, que poner algo solo por agradar. O sea, sean honestos porque de eso se trata de que nosotros podamos ver en eh, qué necesita ayuda y todo. Creo que todavía hay una persona que aún no ha votado. Todavía falta una persona, no sé si es que, no sé. Ah, ok, perfecto, ya estamos. Ok, muy bien. Eh, muy bien, excelente. Digamos que casi un poquito más del 75% de las, um, de de las personas que ya están en sección 5 y, eh, o, o, o más, ¿verdad? Puede ser que estén ya también en el examen final. Eso es muy bueno, excelente. Ahora sí veo que hay ciertas personas que sí están uh, por, por debajo de lo que, lo que deberían de estar. Um, necesitamos con urgencia que se pongan ahí al día. Eh, acuérdense, como les digo, solo tienen prácticamente cuatro noches, incluyendo esta, para poder eh, completarlo. Entonces, si usted, por ejemplo, va en la sección 2, eh, necesita, como, de, como dicen, ponerle turbo, ¿verdad? Como, como dicen, buen sabor, ponerle turbo ahí, porque eh, sí estamos hablando que hay que completar sección 3, sección y, la, y el midterm, la sección 4, la sección 5 y el examen final. Y si no lo completa todo para, para cuando se um, cuando se haya la, la medianoche de, um, de el jueves, entonces ya no va a poder aplicar ahí para el programa. Y, o sea, en otras palabras, ya no va a poder seguir con el programa. Entonces, eh, yo necesito que, que sí se pueda ir un poco las filas. Ahora, Um, si necesitan ayuda, yo con gusto les ayudo. Lastimosamente, eh, eh, bueno, es, es, estos dos días he tenido un trabajar eh, y no he tenido chance ahí para poder um, ayudarle, pero con gusto yo les puedo ayudar. Uh, voy a empezar desde hoy, bueno, ya hoy en la noche. Si, si tienen alguna pregunta, me la pueden hacer y les contesto. Ahora, mm, durante el día, a veces es un poquito difícil para mí porque tengo que estar. Uh, con el otro trabajo y cuando estoy ahí um, en, en mi hora de, de trabajo no puedo estar uh, más, más lastimosamente no puedo estar contestando eh, los mensajes pero al solo yo poder pues dejar duro 
¿ok? Entonces, ahí, ahí estamos, ahí está la, bueno, um, ok, muy bien, excelente. Bueno, chicos, eh, vamos a continuar, entonces, eh, vamos a, ahora a pasarnos para el inglés, porque obviamente de eso se trata, que, que practicamos el inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, bueno, empecemos ahí, eh, a ver. Okay, so first of all, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be learning a little bit about vocabulary. We already saw, um, we started talking about vocabulary. These are days of the week. Okay, so we're going to put here days of the week. Days of the week. Okay, that's the week. Okay, so that's like so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Those are days of the week. But we also are going to be looking at sports well, and seasons. Okay, so I'm going to first talk about um, seasons. Okay, so let's talk about seasons. In El Salvador, there's only two seasons. Okay, in El Salvador, we have um, We have a spring. Oh no, sorry, sorry. In, in El Salvador, we have winter. Ah, sorry. Winter and summer in El Salvador, right? In the winter time in El Salvador, it rains a lot. It rains, 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 right? Right now, in this moment, we are still in winter time. It still rains, uh, but we are very close to summer, okay? Summer in El Salvador is a time when there is no rain, but it's very hot, very, very hot, okay? So in, how do you say winter in Spanish? Sorry, yes, in, in Spanish. How do you say winter? Invierno. Invierno. Yes, very good. That's invierno. And summer? How do you say summer? Verano. Verano. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Now, uh, after the winter, we uh, we also have the word spring. This is another season of the of the year. Spring. So spring is the time in El Salvador, it's not very noticeable. We don't see the spring very clear. Spring is the time when, um, okay, let me, just give me a moment. We're going to. Okay, so we have here the, the four the four seasons of the year: winter, spring, summer, and fall or autumn. Now, winter is. I'm going to draw here. Winter is the time of the year. In other countries. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, these are clouds. <laughs> Imagine those are clouds. Okay, those are muy buena para para dibujar. Especialmente con con lápices virtuales. But okay, but in other in other countries, uh, we have a winter. It is uh, when it snows. There is snow. Okay. So, so imagine this is snow. Snow, nieve. Okay. So that's usually in the winter time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, in the springtime, the springtime is. 
when we have flowers. Okay. Normalmente, no, perdónenme, no soy tan, tan buena para, para dibujar especialmente virtualmente, pero no hacer el mayor intento. Okay, so we have the springtime. Okay, and we're gonna make this one. We're gonna make this one, let's see, purple. Okay, so we have purple here. Um, okay, so then, so that, that's the springtime. In the summer, the summer is when there's a lot of sun, okay? So there's a lot of sun, it's very, very hot. Okay, very, very hot. Okay, that's summertime, okay? And then fall or autumn is the time of the year when, um, well, here in El Salvador is not very common. You don't see um, you don't see this very very common in El Salvador, but in other parts of the world and other countries, um, we have the the trees from the from the okay uh, the trees from the sorry the leaves from the tree. Um, Let's see, yeah, well, so the trees, they're turned like different colors. Okay, they turn different colors. Okay, and uh, the leaves fall down from the trees. Okay, so we have different colored trees. Sorry, different color leaves that fall on the floor. Okay. Okay, do we understand fall and autumn? What is what is fall and or autumn? What is it in English? In Spanish, sorry, in Spanish. How do you say that in Spanish? Primavera y otoño. Otoño. Good, otoño, that's right, okay? So that is the fall, okay? Now, um, uh, now, fall is more of a word that you would hear in American English, okay? American English. And autumn is a word that you will hear in British English. So this is American and this is British, okay? So American English, right? Inglés Americano. And this is more British English, Inglés Britannico, okay? The two, the two forms are okay. The two forms are correct, okay? Any questions? No? Okay, good. All right, now let's talk about, let's talk about um, sports. Sports, okay, let's talk about sports. Now sports, there are many, many different types of sports. For example, in the winter time, Many people in the winter time, they practice sports like, um, let's give me a moment. They practice sports like hockey. You understand hockey? What is hockey in Spanish? What is hockey? Hockey, creo. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Yes. In Spanish, it's pretty much the same. It's oh, it's hockey. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. So we have hockey, 
in the winter time, also people practice basketball, like inside, right? Not now, not basketball outside, basketball inside, right? Inside um, the building. And then you have, um, we have skiing. You understand skiing? What is skiing? In Spanish, how do you call patinaje? skiing? Uh -huh. uh, no, skiing is not okay. patinaje. What is skiing? Um, skiing and no es cuando andan en la nieve. No. Uh -huh. okay. How do you say that in Spanish? Esquiar. Exactly, esquiar. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then we can have ice hockey. Sorry, no, sorry. Ice skating. Ice skating. Do you understand ice skating? No? Patinaje sobre hielo. What? Patinaje sobre hielo. Exactly, patinaje sobre hielo. Very good. So those are some of the sports that people practice in winter, okay? In the springtime, people would practice golf. And I know you know golf, right? Golf. And golf is golf, like in Spanish, right? And they also practice soccer. You understand soccer, right? Yeah? So soccer is what you call in Spanish, football, right? Okay, in English, we call it soccer, especially in American English, they call it soccer. In the summer, the other sports that people practice in the summer are baseball, oops, baseball, and tennis and volleyball and swimming. Okay, do you understand baseball, tennis, volleyball, swimming? Yes? Okay. Good. Yes. Now, and in the fall or in the autumn, people practice a football. Now, football is not football. Don't confuse. A football is what you call in Spanish, football americano. But in English, we just call it football, only football. Okay. So, football, no. We don't normally say American football. We just say football, okay? Football, we, we have um, bike, riding. Do you understand bike riding? Yeah, going on a bike, right? On a bike, bike riding? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or hiking. Do you understand hiking? Do you understand hiking or no? No? We don't understand no. hiking? No? No. Okay. Um, hiking is uh, when you go um, on a, um, to like the mountain, okay? And um, you go to, a, you, you try to uh, climb the mountain or walk in the forest. That is hiking. Do you understand? So going going up up the mountain, up the mountain. Eh, uh huh. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, exactly. Um, we can say. Let me just see if I can find um, a word, a good word for it. Just give me one second. Let me see if I can find. Como escalar, escalar. 
Um, no. No, no, no. Escolar, escolar no. Um, it says here senderismo. Senderismo, ajá. Excursionismo. Do you, do you understand? What do you understand by that? Do you understand excursion, excursionismo, senderismo? Yeah? Or caminata in in the mountain or como ir, pero no acampar. Huh? Sorry? Es como ir, pero sin acampar. Mm, eh, no, not camping. Not camping. Uh, it's like going in the mountains and walking, walking in the mountains, walking in the mountains. Um, it, you know, yeah, that's mostly hiking or in the forest, in the forest. You understand forest? Forest, el, el bosque. So you can go up yes. a mountain, a mountain or the forest. Yes. Right, going up a mountain. This is, it's like uh, when you go to the Cerro Verde, for example. Uh huh. Mountain. Very good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Going up a mountain or a forest. Yes, yeah, very good. Like for example, when you go to El Cerro Verde, that would be hiking. Yes, very very good. Mm -hmm. Vulcano. Okay. A volcano. Yeah. Vulcano. Yeah, you can hike a volcano. Mountain. Yes, a mountain, a volcano. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes, all of that. Okay. All right. Is that, cl is that clear? Do we understand? Is that clear for everybody? Any questions? No? No, it's clear. No. it's clear. Okay, good, excellent. Yeah. All right, um, okay, so right now what I want you to do is I want you to talk to your classmates and I want you to ask your classmate, what do people do in, what sports do you play in the winter, in the spring, the summer, the fall, the autumn? What, what are the sports that people play? Okay, uh, so the question, I'm going to write the question down. So the question would be, uh, what do you, what sports do you practice? Let me say, what sports do you practice in, and then we can say the, the, the time so for example, what sports do you practice in winter? What sports do you practice in summer? What sports do you practice in fall? What sports do you practice in autumn? Okay, so right here, this would be, oh, just give me a moment. Okay, so here's the question. What sports do you practice in? And right here, we would use the time, the time of the year, okay? Okay, the season. Okay, so like I said, it could be what time, what sports do you practice in winter? What sports do you practice in spring? What sports do you practice in summer? What sports do you practice in fall or autumn? And then over here, you're gonna be answering your partner and you're gonna say, I, um, I play, for example, and then you say whatever it is, right? I play hockey, I play basketball, um, I play golf, I play soccer, I play basketball, sorry, baseball, I play tennis, I play volleyball, um, I play football, I play, or I play football, and then you say in the time, right? So, um, so I play, hold on, give me a moment. I play mm, in the... I play soccer, I play the basketball, volleyball, mm -hmm. and swimming, swimming. Okay, good, exactly. So that's just like an idea, okay? Um, so, for, so I play, and then you would say the sport. I play 
Let me just write it down. Um, okay. So I play um, in the sport. Okay, so I play in the, and then over here again with the season. Okay, now just be careful though, because uh, you play for hockey, basketball, golf, baseball, tennis, volleyball, football. Okay, those you play. So play is jugar, pero se juegan solamente aquellos juegos que son de competencia, verdad? De, de competencia así um, entre equipos. For example, hockey, basketball, eh, golf, um, baseball, tennis, volleyball, football. Pero, um, por ejemplo, el skiing, no, realmente eso no, no es en equipo, ¿verdad? Tam normalmente ice skating tampoco, um, tampoco lo es el swimming y el bike riding or hiking. Entonces, en estas no diríamos play. Para eso tendría que ser I do, I do, I, um, I do or I practice. I, so I do it or, no, perdón, sería mejor go, el verbo go. So I go skiing, I go ice skating, I go swimming, I go bike riding, I go hiking. So that's the other possibility, okay? Um, let me write it down here. So we can see, go. Okay. So here we go. Um, so those are the two possibilities. We can say play or go. Okay, so I play or I go. So I, I play hockey, I go skiing. Amy. Do you understand the difference? I play the so I play soccer in yes. the summer. I go I go I go swimming in the winter. Yes, very good. Exactly. Yeah. For example, yeah, exactly. Uh, I play, for example, I play. Um, and then we can put over here, I play, um, let's say I play soccer in the spring. Okay. I play soccer in the spring, right? Okay, so that's one idea, I play soccer in the spring, or we can say, I go, I go um, hiking, and then we have, I go hiking in the fall. I go hiking in the fall. Okay, do you understand? Is it clear? Yes? Okay, but I want yes. you to I want you to ask your partners. I'm going to get you to work. I'm going to put you in groups, and you're going to ask this question. I found that what sports do you practice in? And then you say in the winter, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in autumn. So la pregunta que van a hacer. What sports do you practice? Okay. And this are the different answers. Those son las diferentes respuestas. Okay, it's clear. Do you understand yeah. what to do? See? ¿Sí? Okay, los voy a poner ahorita en creo que en parejas. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna get you to work in pairs. But eh, si quieren tomarle la foto a esto porque ya lo voy a lo voy a quitar.
Ok, vale, I'm going to stop. So ahorita voy a dejar de, de compartir. Ok, and I'm going to put you in breakout rooms so that you can work with a partner and ask the questions. Ok, vamos a ver. I'm going to give you five minutes. Ok. All right, you can join your groups. Ailey, do you have any questions, any problems? Okay. In the spring. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what sport do you practice in the summer? Summer. I play soccer in the summer. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, don't, don't just be careful. You don't say uh, summer. It's sa summer. Summer. Mm -hmm. Summer. Summer. Mm -hmm. Yes. I I play I play soccer in the summer. Good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. okay. Uh, what sports do you practice in? Son los deportes que corresponden en cada época. Si quiero otra vez le pregunto, ya. Yeah. Pero ¿cómo oh, sería la respuesta? Ah, la respuesta sería, por ejemplo, creo que dijo que para eso era como I got, I got, To, I, I go, go to, to swimming. Ajá, I go to swimming. Dijo, ajá, porque no se podía decir como I play, porque I play, uh, puede ser I play tenis, I play ba volleyball, I play basketball, y uh -huh. I, go, I go to swimming. Como swimming, pues no es jugar, ¿verdad? Sino que uh -huh. es más, más que todo nadar. Entonces, es como yo juego tenis, play. Uh, uh -huh. Tenis, o oh, I go to the eh, play the basketball, o cosas así. De, uh -huh. Pero sí dijo que nadar y creo que hake. Do you like to play soccer? Mm. Yes, I like it. Oh, beautiful. Um, <laughs> um, what do sport? In the summer, um, I go swimming in the summer. Excuse me. I go swimming in the summer. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's good. <laughs> What sport do you practice in winter? I play hockey in winter, in the winter. Okay. What sport do you practice in fall? In go by reading in the fall. Okay. What is Miss? Sorry, Miss, tenemos una consulta. Eh, yo sabe, tenía la, la duda de si podemos incluir juegos de mesa como ajedrez. Ajedrez. You want to know if you can use board games. We call them board games. 
And I'm, I'm going to write the, the, the word in the chat. Okay. okay. So Thanks. Board, yeah, board games. Board games are juegos de, juegos de mesa. Board games. Okay. Board games. You, can, you can add board games, that's fine, not a problem. Um, for example, we can use chess. Chess, you understand chess? We can also play checkers. Checkers, you understand checkers? Checkers. Mm -hmm. no. Checkers are, uh, what do you call them? Damas? Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. called checkers. <laughs> and uh, we can also play um, card games. Play card, card games. Right, card games. Um, the naipes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh. yeah, so yeah, you can do that. You can talk about that too. Yeah, not a problem. All right, continue. Okay. okay. Thanks. Um, what sport do you practice in spring? Ya. Ahora si gusta le, pregun le pregunto a usted sobre esta misma época. What sport do you practice in the fall? Esa sería I play ball. I play solo aquí solo puede play. play de fútbol y lo demás son I go, o sea, usted mm -hmm. lo que hace es I play soccer. Mm -hmm. I play basketball. No sé si. Ah, ahí usted me está contestando si ahorita. Puede. Sí, está bien, solo que usted me está contestando ahorita con la, la estación I del play... año de winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good, Victor. Excellent. No, no. Remember, remember that uh, you have to use the seasons, winter, summer, spring, and fall, right? Winter is invierno, summer is verano, spring, primavera, y fall, otoño. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. But very good. Excellent. Continue, Victor. Okay. Continue. Pretenda que no, yo no estoy aquí. Imagínese que yo. Yo no estoy acá. Bye. Hola, Victor. Hola. Eh, ahora si quiere le pregunto bye. Eh, what bye. sport do you practice in the uh, summer <laughs> en eso sería hay hay un no estas sí son solo I, I, I play aquí juega I play mm -hmm. the basketball, I play tennis, I play the volleyball, I go the swimming. O sea, voy a nadar, creo que a eso se refiere, porque como nadar no se puede jugar, hay que ir mm -hmm. como a nadar, vea. Ajá, pero en lo demás sí es jugar, play, si quiere, otra vez. Pero tiene la fotito de, de el, todo lo que hizo la, eh, la Miss. No, eh, no la tengo. Ah, por eso. La tengo así completa. Que... ¿No la tiene completa? Mm -mm, no. Ah, porque, ajá, creo que ahí es donde está. Y, pero sí tiene acceso al chat que tenemos en el grupo, ¿verdad? Sí. Si quiere, se la mando para que se le haga. Vaya. Para que le sirva de guía, porque yo le tomé, ahí usted va a entender más.
Okay. Okay, we're finished. Excellent. Any questions? Questions about uh, what we did today? Any questions? No? No, DJ. Okay, no. So, so the vocabulary is clear? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, very good. I want you to continue practicing the vocabulary in the platform. You can practice the vocabulary writing sentences too, okay? That's in section number five, okay? So section number five, you can practice that. Okay, everybody, take care. See you tomorrow, okay? We'll see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night.